Uh, I don't have a, a lot to say because I can't get my words together right now. But I wanted everybody to know that this is what those officers took from me. At the end of the day, they get to go home and be with their families. Chiana does not have a father. He will never see her grow up, graduate. He will never walk her down the aisle. If it's a problem she's having and she needs her dad, she does not have that anymore. I'm here for my baby. And I'm here for George because I want justice for him. I want justice for him because he was good. No matter what anybody thinks, he was good. And this is the proof that he was a good man. It really don't make no sense. We all seen it. Playing this day. Y'all in here with cameras for a reason. To record what's here so you can have it for later. So you can have proof of what happened today. Right? Am I right or wrong? So you can have footage of what happened today. Right? And when you, when you post that footage on your, on your news stations or whatever, you expect people to believe what you're posting and what you video was real, right? Am I right or wrong? Correct. Why is it not that simple when somebody's getting videoed and getting murdered? Why is it not that simple? Why do we have to see her pain? Why do we have to see a, a, a daughter getting raised without her father? But you know what? It's a lot of stuff you said that he gonna miss, that I'm gonna be there for. I'm gonna walk her down the aisle. I'm gonna be there for her. I'm gonna be here to wipe your tears. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna be here for you and Gigi. Floyd might not be here, but I'm here for her. I'm here, to, I'm here to get justice, and we're going to get justice from my brother. We're not leaving. We're going to keep fighting. We're going we're gonna to put my brother to, uh, to we're going to send him home and, and in beautiful ways this week. But I'm telling you, we are not leaving. We demanded justice, and I'm tired of seeing that. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to see her hurt every day like this. We need justice. We demand it, and some kind of way, God damn it, we're going to get it. Thank you all for coming, but this shit has to stop, man. It has to stop. Uh, you know, we literally flew up here from Atlanta, where today the district attorney indicted six officers who were involved in beating those college students and tasering them. The district attorney, the mayor, and our chief of police took action in under a week, fired and indicted. But yet here we're still waiting for the arrest of the other officers. Why can't that be a blueprint? of what should happen in these officer-involved situations. The pictures last forever, but justice never truly comes in this, and time and time again, we're fighting these cases. Everybody at home is wondering why riots are happening, why protesting is happening. It is because situations like this do not get addressed. No one is saying that every police officer out there is out to try and kill somebody. But when someone does do something, when someone crosses the line, they have to go through the system and be held accountable. How is that not fair? And it always happens to African Americans. And the end result is this. 
And it's a circle because then it's held against a young African-American child when they don't have a parent, when they don't have a father. Now we're somehow less than equal because we're missing that dad. Well, this is going to be the reason that Gianna is missing that dad, through no fault of her own, through no fault of his. So this helps that cycle. And it has to end. And we plan on fighting until the end to make sure that that happens, um, even with new policies being instituted, with the investigation that was announced today. Uh, we, hate, we hope to see further steps um, so that this never happens again.